All right, welcome back. We're going to talk about destroying business model or destroying a business model. Um, so if you start to look at business models, they tend to get destroyed when they're non-functional, right? So a, it's not that the business model necessarily will uh, be destroyed, I guess. It's a little bit about when that business model fails. So going back, let's look at a company. So if you were at a fast food, well, let's look at Sears, actually, that would be an easier one. Sears, they had a business model of selling uh, pretty much a lot of the home improvement, uh, clothing, those type of things in their business model. Their strategy was to have some higher prices, discount lower, I think JC Penney's can be in there too. That was their strategy. Their structure seemed to be fairly hierarchical, uh, those type of things. And it's unclear on what their culture really was. What happened though when a, a competitor came in, Walmart, and started to put stores into these super centers and have the groceries as well, then they started to take a hit. So they kept doing the same thing, which historically was actually making them good money. But what they didn't see was it stopped working. Whatever their strategy needed to have an adjustment and some of the structure and culture, and they just kept taking the same actions because it was still giving them some profits. But what they found was over time, they didn't react to the results fast enough. They didn't see, well, there's this competitor who's creating a better customer experience. So in the business world, you'll see people who don't create a good customer experience or there's a better one out there, those companies will go out of business. And we're okay with companies going out of business. It's a healthy thing in the in a capitalist economy or frankly in any economy. There's some businesses, you know, we don't need uh, whale hunting ships to get uh, whale blubber and stuff for, or whale oil for our lamps anymore. So it's good that that business went out, that thing went out of business. Then there's other businesses that'll come in, right? Microsoft, Google, Apple, those companies, those are new companies as they came in. So as you look at the family, now how does this relate to the family? Very similar. In some cases you look at, well, my business model was I want to get married, I want to have children, and I'm going to have a spouse who provides and takes care of me. That business model works, but there has been some, for some, but there's been some complications as of late, as the number of uh, men or uh, eligible spouses has actually declined for that business model to work. So you'll see in some people that was what they thought. I'm going to go to college, get married in college, and then I'll have a family, and then I'll continue on my way. Well, if there's not enough men to get married to, for some of these women, that business model won't work anymore. It wasn't right or wrong. I'm not commenting necessarily on the validity. It just, it was a functional business model. A lot of people did that. That's very similar to how my mom did, how my mother-in-law did, right? <clears throat> but as we've seen, what's there's an interesting demographic shift that's occurred where there's actually more women in the U US now than there are men and there's actually more um, women are going to college at higher rates, men are going to college at lower rates. So what we're seeing is actually this business model that some people and their strategy, that business model has, is collapsing for some. There's still some that it works for, but as you get the results in, if you don't make the change and you keep thinking, oh, it, it'll happen, it'll happen, and then it doesn't happen, um, there's some problems. Now, we don't usually allow people to go out of, they can go bankrupt, but a company literally dies, it ceases to exist. And we don't like that in our society. So we have social programs and other things that will support them. However, um, blindly following an old business model and not understanding the specifics of it can be very dangerous, right? So um, yeah, my parents had much a very egalitarian relationship and I've, I looked at how does that look? How do, we, how do you treat each other as equals? And how do you interact as equals? All those things. Um, if, if you get married to someone who has a different thing, like um, they, they're used to, uh, we, don't have, we don't deal with conflict. We just sweep things under the rug, some other stuff. Then that becomes a, a fairly large issue. So when, you, when you're getting married, that's, all, that's an interesting side, but if you're looking at certain uh, business models, they will fail at certain times, right? If my business model was I go, I go to the automotive company, I get a good safe job, that worked for a long time for people. 
right, in Detroit. And then certain market forces started to move the market and government forces, caused a lot of manufacturers to move out of Detroit. So if my dad was a, he worked in the auto plant, maybe he had a great pension, maybe everything worked, but I can't follow that same model. So sometimes the model will collapse because of market forces, demographic forces, uh, and when I say market forces, no one wants the product anymore, or there's other products that come in. Um, those are the type of things that will actually cause a business model to fail on a personal level. Now, there are some interesting business models we'll talk through that I don't think people necessarily love, but they are legitimate business models in our society. So we'll get that on a different time.